Hi guys, it's Lisa. Today I'm filming an everyday mom's guide to baby led weaning. And I say everyday mom because I'm not an expert on baby led weaning, but I wanted to just provide what it's like for a real everyday mom and what baby led weaning looked like for us. Because I feel like baby led weaning is starting to become only more so popular now, I feel like there's not that many resources about it, especially when it comes to what it really looks like in real life. So it was really valuable to me to watch videos of actual moms who had done it, not necessarily experts. So I just wanted to come today and share my experience and how we ended up doing Baby Love Me. And throughout this video, I'm going to show videos of Caleb eating, especially when we started out in the beginning, just so you guys can see what it's actually like for baby to feed themselves before they really have a good grasp of it seeing videos of other people's babies actually feeding themselves, especially in the beginning with baby led weaning was really helpful because I didn't really know what to expect or what was normal. So I hope that you guys can see those videos of Caleb feeding himself and perhaps be more encouraged to try it out. So first of all, I wanted to give a very brief introduction to what baby led weaning is. I know a lot of people may not be familiar with it, so I'll just go over it briefly. Basically, baby led weaning is a way of introducing solids to your baby. So instead of going the traditional way, which is to spoon feed your baby purees, you give them finger foods to start out with. So basically, baby is feeding themselves from the very beginning, and they're getting the food as is, not mashed up and not pureed. So obviously, in the beginning, baby cannot get that much food into their mouth, and actually swallow it so milk is still the main form of nutrition whether that's formula or breast milk and they say that food before one is just for fun and just as a disclaimer for any moms who are worried about choking research shows that babies who actually do baby led weaning and those who are fed purees are at the same risk of choking although i will say that with baby led weaning baby will probably gag more but remember gagging or coughing is not the same thing as choking Very quickly, what are the benefits of baby led weaning? The first baby gets to learn hand-eye coordination when he or she grabs the food and brings it to his or her mouth. They also get to practice their fine and gross motor skills as well as their chewing skills because chewing is actually something that we have to learn because babies only know how to suck when they come out of the womb. They're also able to explore food through touch, smell, obviously through putting it into their mouths, and they're able to get used to different textures of food, whereas with purees, you know, they're really only getting used to one texture, which is mush. Another big benefit of baby led weaning is that baby gets to self-regulate his or her own appetite. Because baby is feeding himself, he gets to decide on his own when he's full. So he's able to take the cues from his own body and to self-regulate his appetite and is able to decide for himself when he's going to stop eating and when he's full or not full. So out of those many benefits of baby led weaning. The reasons that I wanted to try it the most was because I really wanted Caleb to learn how to self-regulate his own appetite early on, especially because I feel like in a society with really highly palatable foods and where obesity is more and more of a problem, I just wanted him to learn how to regulate his own appetite, to listen to his hunger and fullness cues, and to decide for himself when he was full and to stop. The other reason was because I wanted to just give Caleb of the ability to learn. I really believe that babies are capable of a lot more than we give them credit for and so I just felt like this is another opportunity for him to learn through touching, through bringing food to his mouth, through chewing and that yeah being exposed to these things earlier would just give him a greater opportunity to learn and to become independent and to feel like he's capable. I think because I just felt like Caleb was capable of doing it that I wanted to give him the opportunity to try. So now the meat of the video, how to start. Starting baby led weaning can be really intimidating because at least for me, I had no previous experience with it. I had never seen anyone do it. So this is personally how we started. I think those that do baby led weaning say that you should wait at least until they're six months. Um, personally, I waited until Caleb was 24 weeks to start him. Honestly, and that was just because I think I was impatient and I really love food, so I really wanted to see Caleb enjoy food. He was showing all the signs that he was ready for solids, which are one, he was able to sit up on his own 
Two, he wasn't pushing food out of his mouth as a reflex. And number three, he was showing interest in food. So in terms of choosing a time to feed baby solids, you want to time it so that he is eating solids in between his milk feed. So let's say you feed the baby at 12 p.m. and then you feed the baby at 3 p.m. A perfect time to do solids would be 1.30 p.m. But other than that, I don't feel like there is a hard and fast rule of whether it should be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Ideally, I think baby should be in a good mood yeah. and he shouldn't be tired. But other than that, I think it's really just up to you what works best for your schedule and when you feel like you have the capacity as well. Because I feel like, yeah, introducing baby to food should be a fun process for the both of you. And if you feel like you can't handle it one day in the morning, then just, you know, push the meal time back to lunch, especially in the beginning when he was only doing one meal. Usually it was lunch, but sometimes if it was breakfast, it was breakfast. If it was dinner, it was dinner. And I didn't really fuss about that too much. In terms of increasing the amount of times that they eat, I kind of just winged it. As Caleb was able to get more food into his mouth and was becoming more interested in food, maybe after a month, I eventually increased him to eating two solid meals a day. But sometimes in the beginning, I would even let him have two meals here and there because he wasn't actually getting that much food into his mouth. So I just figured it was more so a way for him to learn and to be exposed. But actually recently my friend told me that their pediatrician said that at six months they should have one meal a day, at seven months they should have two meals a day, and at eight months they should have three meals a day. So I feel like if you're really looking for a hard and fast rule, maybe that's a good rule that you can follow. Caleb right now is taking two to three meals a day. I would say most days he's actually taking three meals and he will be eight months in a week or so. In terms of choosing foods, basically just choose a food. I feel like the only way to really go wrong is to give baby a food that they could choke on, such as grapes or you know, small bits of hot dog or something like that, you would be surprised at what baby can handle. Obviously, mushy foods like banana or avocado or sweet potato are a little bit easier for baby to chew and swallow. But actually, the first food that we gave Caleb was steamed broccoli. Um, we steamed it so that the top of the broccoli was very soft and he could basically just kind of chew and more so suck on it. We even gave him a chicken drumstick and again, in the beginning, baby isn't so much chewing and swallowing as much as they are just tasting and sucking on it. But yeah, don't be afraid of certain foods. So whatever food you choose, just make sure that you prepare it in a way where baby can grab it with their entire palm because babies don't develop their pincer grasp, which is you know, grabbing things with their two fingers until later. So in the beginning, they'll use their whole palm to grasp the food and either bring the food to their mouth like this or like this. So you want to prepare foods that are basically kind of like the size of your finger, long enough so that when baby grabs it with their whole palm, there's still food sticking out for them to actually put into their mouth. In terms of consistency, you should be able to squeeze the food in between your fingers so that it mashes. But actually with Caleb, I still sometimes gave him like stems of green leafy vegetables, which I know that he couldn't just like break off just so he can chew and suck on it and get that taste. Just the number one thing to be mindful when you're choosing and preparing foods is that it's not a choking hazard. And another thing that I recently really liked to start to do was like leafy greens, he can't really chew that up yet because he only has his two bottom teeth, but I still want to get that nutrition. So I cut the green leafy vegetables really small and then I will cook them in an egg. So basically it's like a mini omelet. So he can still get that nutritional value while feeding himself because we cut the little omelet into strips so that he can grab it and eat it. So this one is also kind of a personal choice, but I chose not to season Caleb's food in the beginning. Now that he's been eating for almost two months, we are a little bit more loose with it. Like if we forgot to separate him something or cook him something, we'll just take whatever we're eating and I'll feed it to him if it's not too salty or spicy, or I'll just wash it off in some water and then give it to him. But I think it's good for babies to get used to the taste of food without any seasoning so that they can just kind of appreciate the taste of the food itself. The next thing to do is to give a new food to baby every two to three days. And the reason why is because if baby gets an allergic reaction to a food, then you can exactly pinpoint what it was that caused that reaction. So for us, I did that in the beginning, but honestly, like I said, everyday mom here, I'm not an expert and I'm not perfect. I chose to give a new food to Caleb 
every single day. I felt comfortable doing this because neither my husband nor I have any family history of food allergies. But if you do have a family history, I would definitely be more careful. But another thing to know is actually giving your child foods that are more allergenic, so things like peanut butter or eggs. Research shows now that the earlier actually that you expose your kids to that, the less likely they are to become allergic. I would give Caleb peanut butter on like his banana or banana egg pancakes that I would make and he really enjoys it. He's never had a reaction, but of course, keep in mind what your family history is and just be a little bit more wary. This I learned from trial and error, but try to give maybe only one or two pieces of food at a time because if you give them more than that, it's a little bit harder for them to focus on grabbing it and putting it into their mouth. In the beginning, when I gave Caleb more food at a time, I found that he would kind of just like smash and play with the food a little bit more. Whereas when I give him one or two pieces, he's much more likely to focus on actually grabbing it and putting it into his mouth. So yeah, definitely try to give them one to two pieces of food at a time rather than, you know, four or five pieces. So another thing you might be worried about is how you'll know when baby is done. And I think once you see your baby and just get used to what they're like when they're eating, it'll come pretty quickly. Some regular signs just are babies just not interested in eating and isn't bringing the food, isn't grabbing the food into their mouth anymore. Caleb would kind of start to whine and complain when he didn't want to sit anymore. And so I took that as a sign that he was done and I would clean it up. You know, some babies like to kind of like go like this across their tray. The more you see your baby eat, you'll just be able to pick up what their signs are for when they're done. And the last thing I wanna say on starting baby led weaning, and this also goes for if you're starting baby on purees, is that you should know and educate yourself on how to do baby CPR. There's always a chance with introducing solids, no matter the way you choose to do it, that baby will choke. And it's very important to know how to do that so that in the case that that happens, you know what to do and how to keep your baby safe. Of course, it's not comfortable as a mom to look at your baby be gagging or tearing. I mean, I hate when that happens to Caleb. So what I do is I'll just rub his back gently. I'm not moving him or I'll just touch his face just to try and comfort him a little bit. And I'll encourage him saying, you know, okay, just try to take it slow. Um, just try to swallow what you have in your mouth or if you need to spit it back out. And I just try to talk to him calmly until he's okay again. So that's my advice on how to start. As you can see, there are a few strong points that I have, but all of them are pretty flexible because I don't really feel like there's a wrong way to do baby led weaning other than giving your baby a food that they can potentially choke on. And especially in the beginning, you might be thinking, am I doing this right? Because baby is not really getting food into their mouth they're not really eating that much and chances are yes you're doing it right because that's what baby led weaning is like and I hope that the videos that you've seen of Caleb eating can give you some reassurance that what you're doing is okay with baby led weaning. The first thing is in the beginning, don't expect baby to eat a lot. There will be a lot of sucking on the food. There will probably be a lot of playing with the food, touching it, mashing it around. And all of that is okay because that's baby's way of exploring and learning because babies learn by playing. So yeah, in terms of what it was like for us in the beginning, actually Caleb was pretty interested in food from the beginning. Like I said, me and my husband are both foodies. So I guess I wasn't too surprised that in the beginning, Caleb was just able to take the food from the tray and just bring it to his mouth and he was really into you know sucking on it and just getting the taste of it but I think it differs for every baby your baby may not be as interested and some babies are just super interested from the get-go another thing that you can expect which I've already mentioned is gagging and like I said gagging is okay it's normal gagging is again just a part of baby learning how to handle food in their mouth and what they can and cannot handle. So Caleb typically, um, if a piece of food is too big, he'll end up spitting it out and he may gag also before spitting it out. But generally, if a piece of food is too big, he is able to spit it out of his mouth. Gagging is very normal with baby led weaning. Caleb probably gags at least once every time that he eats. It's not comfortable to wash, but I just remind myself that it is a part of the learning process. Another thing to expect is baby led weaning is a mess and that is probably the biggest con I would say to baby led weaning is how messy it can get. Obviously baby is handling his or her own food so the food gets everywhere. You know it gets on their hands and their hands go on their hair or their hands go on their face. Uh, the food gets on the floor. Sometimes I literally look at Caleb after he's done eating and I just look at him 
because I don't even know where to start. Do I start with a floor? Do I start with a tray? Do I start with his hands? Do I start with his face or the bib? So yeah, I would definitely say expect a mess and that it's no joke what kind of a mess babies can make. Also expect baby to get better as time goes on. So for us, after around eight weeks of baby led weaning, there was just one morning where I gave Caleb an egg that I had made and to my surprise, he ate almost all of it. And it was that same feeding session that he actually started to use his pincer grass. And just in general, since that day, he's gotten exponentially better at maneuvering food into his mouth. I don't know if that's how it is for for every baby but for us it was kind of just like a switch turned on and he just got so much better at eating but baby led weaning is not always a linear process there are still days where Caleb is not that interested in food although that doesn't really happen that often and he still makes a mess <laughs> is would I do it again? If you asked me a month ago if baby let weaning was worth it, I might have given you a 50-50 kind of answer, but after just seeing how much Caleb has progressed and seeing how much I feel like he's learned because he's been given the opportunity to learn, I would say that baby led weaning is definitely worth it and I would definitely do it again. That day that Caleb ate his egg and ate almost all of it and he fed himself using the pincer grass. I feel like that was such a rewarding moment because I felt like that was just affirmation that baby led weaning was the right choice for us. I feel like there's no other way that Caleb could have learned to do that so early on and I'm sure that again it's baby to baby but he is only seven months and he's learned how to do his pincer grass and I can't think of another situation where he gets the opportunity to pick up small objects like that. I feel like baby led weaning is like an opportunity that you give to your baby so that they can learn. So even though the mess is really inconvenient and hard to deal with, I would say that baby led weaning is worth it and I would do it again. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope that you guys found this helpful and that seeing real life experience and how it really was for me and for Caleb will help to encourage you to try baby led weaning out. I feel like it's a really fun way for baby to learn to eat and honestly it's been so fun for me and my husband and Caleb's grandparents to see him learn how to eat. Like we just have lots of good laughs and it's been so amazing to see Caleb learn so much and to grow so much in just a few months time. And I would encourage other parents to try it out. Um, so I hope that this can be an encouragement to you guys to try this out and let me know in the comments if you have any other questions because I know that I had a lot of questions and hopefully I can answer them for you. But otherwise, if you like the video, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. But otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.